Hello everyone, and welcome to another battle report for my channel. Um, today we have a Kings of War battle report. Um, this is the first game of the Blood in the Sun tournament uh, that was held in Northbrook, Illinois. Uh, so this is my first game from that tournament. I won't do a tournament recap as I normally did because I don't think it's really that much different of a list that I brought from what I did for Adepticon, so I'll just get right into the uh, battle report. So, uh, the first game I was put up against an Abyssal's army. Uh, every game in this tournament is 2,000 points, and the first one is kill. So, uh, a couple of notes for this tournament. Um, kill is played as normal uh, with some additional points you can earn. So, the table is divided into four quarters. Um, if you have more units, majority of, a unit is... Counts being the table quarter it is in depending on the majority of which table quarter it is in. Um, I think individuals don't count for this, but if you have more War Machines, Monsters, or units in a table quarter, you get 100 bonus points over your, you know, as opposed to your opponent. Um, if you kill a Living Legend, you get 100 bonus points. And uh, every at the beginning of every game, everyone had to select an Honor Guard unit which is not a monster, not a war machine, and not a hero. Uh, and if your opponent killed your honor guard unit, they got 100 extra points. So there was a few extra points you could pick up. Um, otherwise, in this game, it's just straight kill. So um, for this tournament, I brought my dwarves, as I generally do. Um, so my dwarf list is as follows. Two troops of ironclad uh, to screen my iron guard, which are two iron guard regiments, two-handed weapon upgrade, and throwing dogs. A one Troop of Rangers with the Fire Oil, two hordes of Earth Elementals, one with Blessing of the Gods, and one with Brew of Haste, two Iron Belcher Organ Guns, one Army Standard Bear, Ranger Captain Wings of Honey Maze, two Stone Priests, both with Bane Chant Upgrade, and one of these Stone Priests also has the Inspiring Talisman, and two Greater Earth Elementals. So, uh, my opponent has as follows two Regiments of Flame Bearers. Two regiments of succubi, one horde of tortured souls, uh, an Ifrit with the heart seeking chant, an abyssal temptress with the bane chant upgrade, the lord of lies, which is a uh, <clears throat> living legend, uh, archfeed of the abyss wings upgrade, lightning bolt upgrade, and the brew of haste, and then a uh, Cronius, which is like a, a monster living legend. Oh, this is a little pre-deployment. This is after I put my first drop down, um, just so you can see what uh, the board kind of looks like. Uh, and, and as a side note, I did... I'm, I'm going to bring this up really quick um, and try not to paint on it too much, but I did play an 11-year-old for this game um, who, who did surprisingly well in the tournament, and I'll get to that at the end, but um, it, it, it caused a bit of a, <clears throat> a, mixed, a mixed emotion on how, how to play... And, but in, in the end, I think it was okay. I actually talked to her dad uh, right before this because he was playing on the table next to us. And I was like, hey, uh, should I be nice or just play? He's like, no, it's a tournament. Just play. I was like, okay. Um, so here's us getting set down. Um, so I'll go over it here. Uh, so my opponent, <clears throat> we'll start with hers. Uh, on the very right there, the two regiments of flame bearers are just stuck right next to each other. Uh, behind the flame bearers is the Ifrit. Cronius and the Lord of Lies <clears throat> am in the middle. Uh, for my opponent are the two regiments of Succubi and the Temptress. Is Abyssal Temptress is right behind him. Um, and then way... Well, I'm just going to jump forward real quick just so you can see. And then way on the other side, the Archfiend and the Tortured Souls um, are way on my opponent's right and my left. Um, so my deployment, which is pretty well covered in this, uh, including vanguards, um, who from right to left, ranger captain, wings of honey maze, um, I have my rangers in the woods, uh, my greater earth elemental and elite earth elemental and inspiring, um, stone priest are down there at the bottom. I put my two organ guns in the woods. Um, I got my, uh, my dwarf block there with my two ironclad and iron guard, um, which you'll see pretty standard in all these games. They generally run together. Uh, and then way, way on the end I have, um, you can see them in this picture. Uh, that's the 
the darker elementals there in the end are the uh, haste ones and the greater earth elemental and then the and then just the vanilla well bane chant um stone priest so uh turn one turn one goes to the dwarves i don't remember if i got to pick or not um i probably wouldn't have gone first because i don't need to but uh that's it this is my movement so i just reform a little bit um my opponent has a lot of shooting, but I also have a lot of shooting. So, and flame bears um, aren't aren't uh, they have firebolt, which is a shooting. It's not a. I mean, it's 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 a it's not a spell, so it's not always a four up. So, I'm gonna hang out in the woods and wait for this wait for him to come to me. Um, so there's my other side. So I just kind of redressed my lines and moved up a little bit. Um, you know, as as you do. And that's that's it. <laughs> so, dwarf turn one was very exciting. Uh, Abyssal's turn one. So there you can see the um, tortured souls and the archfiend there on the left flew up into the woods. Um, and over here, the uh, succubi move up uh, pretty far, and the uh, flame bearers move up. I think just to get in range. Um, the flame bearers, and I'm not sure if anyone else picks on these guys, but they. Um, Get a few shots in on my on my dwarves, and you know that's, that's the thing. Uh, and this and this is the end of uh, Abyssal's one. But one thing I, I learned that later in this tournament is is uh, this is my bad. If you're a dwarf and you give and get wavered, even if you headstrong it off, you're still disordered. So i a little. I'm gonna take one round of shoot. I get one round of shooting with these guys that I shouldn't have got. So I'm sorry, Ashley, if you watch this. Um, so dwarves, dwarves turn two. Beyond that, we just uh, redress the lines a little bit. Um, my elementals on the left are are just there to to hold off those those flyers. Um, that's pretty good for them. Um, all right, dwarves. I don't. I think I just move them up a little bit. Yeah, you can see here. I don't. I don't really do much else uh, as far as movement because I don't really need to. Um, you know, I I, I have I have. Two organ guns that are that are just gonna, you know, pelt some stuff. So um, <clears throat> we've moved. Uh, so we shoot. So the organ guns and again the rangers that shouldn't have shot. I don't, I don't remember how well they did or didn't. Um, but I know the organ guns were both in range and they just ripped these guys up uh, pretty bad. Um, so that's that. Um, the end of doors turn two. Uh, we picked up a flame bear unit. So. Um, Abyssals turn two um, on the right. That block of the Lord of Lies, Cronius, Ifrit, and the Flame Bearers move up. In the middle, um, you can see it better here. The Succubi double charge my left Ironclad unit. Um, they're just not quite shoved up because of the hill and you know arms and everything. Uh, and on the uh, very left, um, in the bottom left there of uh, the yeah, she just kind of slides her guys over a little bit. It gets out of the woods and and just moves over. Um, staying out of my charge range, but of course, you know, deciding what she wants to do. Uh, she gets a bane chant off um, on one of her succubi, which may be overkill. And unfortunately for me and my my rules mistake, um, she routes the rangers off. So um, that's good. Uh, I only I only cheated for one turn. Again, I apologize. Um, so rangers are gone, um, and not terribly surprising, um, 50 attacks from the succubi, um, they hit on threes, and one of them had crushing strength one, so I, I don't even think, uh, yeah, I didn't even make, she rolled the tw first 25 which, with the crushing strength, and she got like 10 wounds, I was like, well, don't even bother, because just don't roll double one twice, I don't have any healing, and she got him, so, um, that's her reforming like this, um, yep, so the end of turn two. Um, the end of turn two, it's kind of like that. We're getting a little bit of combat, but not too much. All right. So turn three, dwarves. Um, so, again, this was this was one of those things where I'm like, oh, you're... I know it's a tournament. I shouldn't have pointed stuff out. But so what I did, um, I pivoted. I moved my I moved my greater my earth elementals up and pivoted them into the into the flank of those um succubi which uh you know if, if it was a friendly game i would have told someone not to put him there and i'm just sitting there like oh do i say something but i didn't so i i said we're gonna i'm gonna teach you a very 
unfun lesson about Surge. And I don't know if she just didn't know this or just was a little rattled because it was the first game of the day. You know, it, it happens. So that's going on. Um, my uh, Ironclad and my left Iron Guard double charge the other Succubi unit. And over here, nobody does anything useful, as you'd expect. So um, naturally, um, I only needed like a Surge 2 to get in. So. Um, the Earth Elementals get into the flank of those succubi, and that's a bad place to be a succubi. Uh, over here, my organ guns uh, eat up the other flame bear unit. Um, my ranger captain is shooting too, but I mean, you know, the organ guns are doing the work. Uh, combat, um, the double charge here between my ironclad and my iron guard. We waver the succubi, but that doesn't matter necessarily because suck. As I guess, as I found, everything is fury for the most part. So. Countercharges galore, and you know, not not surprisingly, the Earth Elementals in the flank eat that other succubi unit and reform as such. So Dwarf turn three, and it's it's looking pretty good. Um, Abyssal's turn four, or turn three, sorry. Uh, she just, she goes to double charge the um, <clears throat> Greater Earth Elemental, which I you know I think was a good move. I don't. I don't think either of these guys could do it by themselves. So I, th I think that was a fair choice. So there's another shot of that. Um, the Succubi um, counter charge the um, uh, Iron Guard. Um, the token on... Here, here, on this... Here we go. So the token on her her Forsaken there, the, the, the guys next to there, are her uh, um, the Honor Guard unit. And my, my Honor Guard unit are these guys. So... Uh, and over here you can see um, Kronius and Ifrit move up, and the Lord of Flies lies, not flies lies flies over um, my army, and 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 she knew well. I mean, at this point, like, look, I'm I'm gonna be able to just turn around and surge into you, right? And she's like, "Yep." I'm like, "Okay," just want to make sure, you know. And she's like, "Yeah, I know." She's like, "I don't know what else I was gonna do, but okay." So we're all cool. Um, she gets a pretty good double charge off with these guys. She actually ends up routing my Greater Earth Elemental, which is, you know, when everybody can pop a pretty much uninjured earth, Greater Earth Elemental on one round of combat. It's pretty, pretty impressive generally. And reforms like that. Um, over here, the Succubi do six points of damage, so not enough to knock me out, but they do waver them. So uh, we're going to turn four. Uh, turn four for dwarves. Um, <coughs> my... Greater Earth Elementals charge the Forsaken. Um, my Ironclad, as you can see here, flank the um, Succubi. Uh, and I think I failed headstrong on the other Ironclad unit. Um, so they can't do anything. They can't even pivot because I'm, I'm wider than I am longer. So they just got to stay there. Um, I pivot my other Iron Guard unit because I mean, like the Archfiend's right there. Um, and I s about face my Greater Earth Elemental to face the front. I think it's the front of the Lord of Lies. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's a front. I don't know if I ever get a flank. Uh, shooting. Um... Banechant, the uh, Earth Elementals. Um, we put a bunch of damage on Kronios with my organ guns, and my um, Ranger Captain actually charges Ifrit. Um, just so I can put the point of damage on him and stop him from doing those fireballs. Which he does. I think he does two or something, so that's fine. Um, my And then we go into combat. My flanking Ironclad do pretty good. Um, they eat up the... They eat up the rest of those uh, succubi, so that's good. Um, and my greater earth elemental punches the Lord of Lord of Lies, and you know it's a few points of damage, but that's about it. <coughs> Must have been a front charge. It's a little over pivot, pivot maybe. Yeah. Um, and then my greater earth elementals do a little bit of damage here, um, but nothing, nothing so amazing to write home about. So the end of dwarves turn four it looks like this. Um, things are looking pretty good for the dwarves. Uh, Abyssal's four, so counter charge. Um, not surprisingly, the 
uh, Archfiend goes over here to uh, finish up these guys. Um, you know, it's an it's a, my honor guard unit, and it's an expensive unit, so it's 270 points if she kills them. So it's, that's not terrible. And the Abyssal Temptress, Temptress, yes, is walking around to Bane Chan people. <clears throat> so uh, we go into shooting, and Cronus just goes nuts with the breath attack, um, and just p nearly picks these guys up in one round. Like it was just nasty. Um, just melted them. Um, Bane Chant goes off on the um, Torture Souls. And this, you know, it's not great, but I I'll probably survive. Um, and the uh, Archfiend, of course, picks up the uh, Iron Guard unit and uh, ends up not in my charge range. So, um, and then the Lord of Lord of Lies um, is just smacking up my uh, Greater Earth Elemental. Not not accomplishing much as you would expect. And uh, if it fails t to damage my Ranger Captain, I'm guessing is what I'm showing. So, turn five. Um, turn five dwarves. Um, so, pretty much what you would expect. Uh, Earth Elementals counter, counter charge. The, uh, the, the Abyssals. Or the what are they? Torture Souls. Um, just reform my line a little bit in case... My dwarves just kind of turn into an inward arc, depending on who he wants to charge. If 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 she wants to charge either of my dwarves with the archfiend there. Um, otherwise, everyone's in pretty good shape. Um, the uh, greater earth elemental just goes back to punch the Lord of Lies. The ranger captain goes back to punch the Euphrit, and my organ guns just sit there so they can shoot up the uh, Cornelius. Um So I throw a dog. Uh, at the uh, Archfiend and I do one point of damage which is kind of funny um, I bane chant one of my organ guns and after two rounds of shooting the Kronios is no more as you would expect um, I successfully waver the uh, Lord of Lies um, which is pretty, pretty good rolling but again Fury so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter um, and over here, though, I do pick up the um, Tortured Souls, which is pretty good, because I I don't think I was going to survive another round of combat, so it was lucky that I got the, the first charge in this case, so I picked up the Tortured Souls and got a lot of points, and then I come over here and I give Ifrit a little smack. <clears throat> so, Dwarves turn 5. Looks like this, still looking pretty good for the Dwarves. So, um, Abyssal's turn 5. Uh... Not a lot left on the board. She just countercharges with every, th with Ifri countercharges with the Lord of Lies, and then starts flying her Archfiend that way, which probably wasn't the best choice, as you can see. Um, but again, I, I just, just didn't say anything. Um, it, you know, spoiler, it doesn't turn out to be a big deal. So that's that. Um, combat Ifri actually does a point of damage to to my Ranger Captain, but he doesn't care. Uh, so turn six. Um, turn six looks like this. Uh, oh, just showing I'm moving my. I spin my golems around, and I think I end up surging them, or just they're enough over and they get that table quarter for me. Um, over here, my crater earth elemental just goes nuts and um, kills the Lord of Lies. Actually, he just he just freaks out and like I think it like lands like all eight hits or something just nasty. Um, it spins around, and, well, I'm a little bit of order here, but I do shoot the Archfiend, but I don't kill him. And I do hit Ifrit again, but again, I don't, I don't kill him, so. They're all cool. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, so I did surge my Golems over there to get that, looks like I did surge them to get that Table Quarter. Um, and Abyssal 6 will be pretty fast, because there's not a lot left, so she just flies up into the corner. Um, and Ifrit just hangs out, so... This is this says dwarf six, but it's episode six. Just showing the end of the table. So result of the game, um, it was dwarves. Uh, dwarves got seventeen ninety points with again with the addition of table quarters. I had two table quarters, um, and it killed the honor guard unit. So she got nine hundred and seventy points for our honor guard unit, a table quarter, and then just the regular kills. Um, 
So it was a dwarf victory. Um, by tournament tournament standards, it was a 14-6 win, um, which is pretty good. I think that the scoring system for this tournament was pretty reasonable um, so that you didn't just be like, it wasn't just immediately 15-5 and then a plus or minus because it would have been a really, really knockout victory at that case. Um, so I actually like these this tournament scoring a little better because even though it was a... A reasonable victory. It wasn't like a an a eighteen two, because I don't I don't think it was that big of a, a win. Um, yeah. So I mean, you know, it was it was pretty good. Just some thoughts. Um, I I feel a little bad about the headstrong rule. Someone explained that to me later, and I was like, oh oh jeez. So it, luckily, it didn't end up probably being much of a factor in this game because those those guys just died pretty quick. Um, so you know, live and learn, I guess. Um, I, I do think this game was a pretty bad matchup for my opponent, just for army's sake. Um, playing me in this game, playing kill, I think. I don't. I don't know if, if I was my opponent, I might have. I might have just sat back in a corner or something. Or I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, because I have. I I have like probably better shooting. Um, I have better shooting, and I have a lot more bodies, and I have a lot more armor. So, I don't know. It, it's a hard one. It's a hard one to say because you can't just fly up on me like that. Because I I have a lot of surging too. So I, I just again I just think it was a really bad matchup for my opponent, and I I I felt pretty good about the game going into it. So um, <clears throat> and just some general thoughts. I mean, the, the the person I played, she she was very comp. She was very competent. She she's obviously very good at math she was doing the whole calculations in her head the whole time but it's just it's just something to to think about i mean one of my regular opponents is like 16 i mean one of the guys i play all the time 15 or 16 and i just you know I, i'm used to just treating that person you know just as an adult um but you know in the end i just i think it came out pretty good like i I don't know, it was, it was just a... I'm, I'm rambling, but I, I think it ended up being okay. She ended up doing really good in the tournament. Like, I think she might have even did better than me in the end. So, you know, that's fine. I, th I think it all went pretty good. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I have five more reports from this tournament to put up. Um, and I'll probably get to them at some point in time. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye.